from the swamps of Louisiana, the Cajun Predator. The day of the hairy freak or the fat slob is practically gone. Let the party begin. I've got snacks. Hello! I just blew out my own ear. I'm sorry if I blew out anybody else's. Uh, welcome to WW Deep Cuts Live. Look at us. We did it again. Another seven days around the sun. Proud of you all. Proud of myself. It's been a hell of seven days. But again, welcome to WW Deep Cuts Live. My name is down there. Right there. Right there, Tom Green. Hello, hello, welcome, everybody. Live on Twitch and in the future on YouTube. So many folks in the chat tonight. Let's see, I see Optimum Vision. Good to see you again. I see Speedy De Palma. I see Baron Von Rashi, the Baron. Refs's Wizards, welcome. Hello, Jonathan Mayer. Hello, Viva LaFran. Brinticus, the man, the myth, the legend. Brian Dermody, don't eat the squid, because if you eat the squid, you start typing those damn eye emojis. And the next thing you know, everybody accuses you of being a damn journalist. Uh, Soggy Hydrox is here. Bam Dog is here. Thank you to number one Gunkle for subbing five months in a row. I always, I never beg for subs, but they give me strength. They are my DECA. So if you want me to have rippling pecs, better sub. Um, Dave in Syracuse is here, um, as well as Mr. Bluestein. Welcome, everyone. Tonight, we're going back to the year 1993. We're going to watch WCW Power Hour. Uh, it's towards the death of the show. It had about a, about a little under a year left, but it was a recap show towards the end. Um, so, yeah, and good news, we have commercials this week. Yeah, let's clap it up for commercials, everybody. Uh, but before we do go there, I'm not good at sentences or segues this week. Check out my sponsor, Hella Mastiel. Nitro, the incredible rise and inevitable collapse of Ted Turner's WCW, the expanded edition. It's on Cialis. Four bonus chapters, a new foreword from Eric Bischoff. Dozens, dozens, dozens of new tidbits, an expanded image section, show formats and scripts, and over 100 footnotes to the original story. If this interests you, please, please, please use my code WCWCUTS when uh, you go buy it at that QR code right there. Because if you use my code and that QR code, WCWCUTS, you get 10% off. And I get a little PayPal ding from Guy Evans. So without any further ado, hello, Chili1090. I saw that. That Dave Penzer book? It's going to be crazy. It's got all the, the formats for the B shows in there. I, I, I saw him tweeting that the other day. It's crazy. Uh, but speaking of crazy things, again, I'm not good at segues, but we're going to do them anyway. Let's go to our first episode. Let's go. Good morning and welcome. As always, let me know how the volume levels are. Hey, Fanatic Gamer. Young Steve Austin. Young Kevin Nash. Before he started saying stupid shit on his podcast and breaking all of our hearts. Dollar Shave Club, do not be sending me emails during the show. The Two Tough Terrible Texans. I'm gonna hack it up with Shane Douglas and Ricky Steamboat. Um, apologies once again to those who uh, were trying to watch Off the Grid on YouTube past Sunday. Turns out, 
YouTube uh, does not does not like it, or does not like that stream at least. I didn't know WWE owns global foot. I know they they own some of the early stuff. Apparently, they own all of it. Did not know that. So, Kevin Nash is he is saying stupid shit about Janelle Grant. He also uh, said really shitty thing about Tony Khan. Whether you like him or you don't, he accused he uh, tried to diagnose him, diagnose him with stuff. I didn't like that. Thank you, Jonathan. Appreciate it. I got my hair cut the other day. Doesn't quite look as good as Eric Bischoff's here, but I like it. About that and all the rest of the action coming your way this morning, but right now let's get down to the ring. The most popular man in the sport, Sting, coming. The most way. popular man in the sport. Did they run a poll? I mean, Sting. Sting is a popular man. They're grabbing his fringe. You know, a man's popular when they're, when they're grabbing the fringe. That child's going to be thrown at Sting. Tremendous crowd on hand. Yes, Optimum Vision. I have mine right here, 10 p.m. We're going to take our pills together. Dusty Wolf, longtime favorite of many, aka Dale Wolf. A rare instance where he is Dusty Wolf in a company where Dusty Rhodes is. I might hand my child to uh, Claudio Castagnoli tomorrow. I will be at Dynamite in Indianapolis. Very excited. What the? What's going on? Was he twitching? Dusty Wolf was having an allergic reaction to Sting. That's a good point, Brian. Of all, of all the wrestlers to throw your child at, Sting might be the best. The safest bet. Um, but no, it's, the story back in the day was uh, if Dusty Wolf was doing enhancement work in a company Dusty Rhodes was in, he had to be Dale Wolf. But Dusty's here in WCW, and he's Dusty Wolf. Very interesting. I will be bringing a CM Punk chantometer. I will sneak it. I will. I will clench it between my thighs when I come in, so the security does not take it from me. And I will hold it up in the air so that I can. Disprove any internet myths. This match is already over. He should have been hungry like the wolf. If Dusty Wolf ever won a match. I wonder if he ever did win a match. I'm sure he'd won like indie matches. <laughs> yes, Ruff says Wizards. I wonder who's going to win. The guy with the cool music and the paint? Or the, the pasty fellow? High stakes action. With lots of space between the fonts, so you know it's serious. My parents wanted to help people here. I wish I had Dusty Wolf's hair, Brian. I'm very jealous of your, uh, your, of your high school friend. Charisma. Hey, Stephen J. Neptune man, just in time. People mumble. Beltone's ten-step test will tell you what you're hearing and what you're not. Call for this free brochure and a coupon. You couldn't. If you can hear what you're not hearing, Belltone offers a tiny hearing aid with clear voice, a like, seriously, how reducing certain background noise. Shouldn't they use captions for the entire commercial? I've been, I've been over this before. Also, why are there so many hard of hearing wrestling fans? An American company. Call 1-800-638-9898 for your... I'm glad that all the people that need hearing aids uh, can sleep safe knowing this is an American company making American hearing aids. They're hitting the mob. They're not afraid of anyone. I mean, old people did used to watch wrestling. But if you watch WWE at the time, it's like they're trying to get the kids' audience that the WWF had. It's always it's always hit or miss uh, whether we have commercials or not. Uh, it depends on who was running the VCR. Problems. I feel these people's pain. My car's still in the shop after over a week, and I'm not getting it back for at least another week and a half. It's fucked up that bad. 
performance, performance, performance. Gum out solutions to engine problems. True, Bastille. From the people at and those uploaders we call so demons. Bad people. Right? What's wrong? Uh, what is the exact diagnosis? Uh, the, the timing belt snapped? And when the timing belt snapped, it like destroyed five other things inside the hood. And so like everything but the engine needs to be replaced, it sounds like. I know nothing about cars, I just know it's really expensive. Here we go, Brian. Head and Shoulders commercial. Thank you for the condolences, yeah. After all the stuff with the plumbing, to immediately have this car be like... Wave, waving its fingers at me metaphorically. Breaks my heart. Yeah, I always think... I, I've seen this commercial before, I always think he's gonna like rub himself with the paint. Welcome back to the action. A lot more excitement coming your way throughout the broadcast, but this is one I've been waiting for. <laughs> Heavy Metal Van Hammer and Vinny Vegas. A lot of bad blood between these two athletes. Well, you know, Vegas has been on the heels of Van Hammer now for Look at months. that tie on Larry. Made sure to wear all black so that would stand out. Well, they've been talking about who has the strongest arm. We're going to find out which of these two athletes is Again, the best WCW best apparently. I don't know if they couldn't use the term arm wrestling or they wanted their own term for arm wrestling. Strongest arm. Yes, the savior Van Hammer. It's going to save this company. From Vegas high stakes gambling. That might have been a Jerry Garcia attack. Look at this vest on Nash. Little, little spiky things. Yes, this is yes, this is Kevin Nash, fanatic gamer. And some very comfy looking pants. It is wild how many booking regimes Van Hammer lasted through. Very like subdued Van Hammer look here. Just like a tank top. Not head banging. He's mad. Look at those punches to the the chest and back. Maybe he wore that on, on Family Feud. You might have a you might have a point there, Jonathan. Van Hammer with the the flying slap to the face. Oh. Yeah, he debuted in WWF wearing some funky getup. It was like he didn't have time to put together anything because they were just like, here, let's go. So I, I, I believe these two had actually been feuding for like a month leading up to this. And the blow off is second match on Power Hour. Like, Kevin Nash looks like he just cobbled together his gear from everyone else in the locker room. But that's what he actually wore for a while. Yeah, Van, Van Hammer completely gave up on the heavy metal thing. He's just wearing a shirt that he got from some band. Not headbanging anymore. Doesn't have a guitar. Doesn't have, His hair is just kind of subdued. I need diapers screen to chat. Hey, Crush Bra. What's diapers screen? Dual screen. Oh, he had to take. He's got to be hurt, man. He bounced off that steel rail. And here's a sound strategy after all that. Get Vinny Vegas down. Get that height advantage off the man anyway. Imagine if, of all of all streams, mine would have a diaper scream. Scream. I get I got poop in my diapers a lot, according to YouTube commenters. 
and try and hold on to that side headlock, and that's uh, just not how it's supposed to work, Larry. Now, that's no good, then. You don't have the power. Oh! He had all the power he needed there. It took big Vinny Vegas right off his feet. Covered. Referee position. Another, well, that was only a one count, but moving in for the kill. Now, that's about the third or fourth. Oh, uh, apparently PS4, you can't ball. chat on the app anymore. I'm so sorry. Twitch has been making a lot of changes. Like, completely overhauled the, uh, the creator in of the app last week very cool yes scotland green mr green mist uh check him out thursdays at nine the pro wrestling potluck uh various segments matches promos etc uh viewers submitted from the world of wrestling it's a fun time he can compiles them all into one big mishmash of show it's wonderful um if you like this you'll love his show a lot of a lot of the a lot of the kind folks in my chat are in his chat on thursdays including me so go check out scotland i'm glad i'm glad to see you here crush bra hey vans welcome yes the pro wrestling potluck go follow uh mr green mist on twitch scotland green my kayfabe cousin hosts it thursdays at nine right back to his style of wrestling oh yeah he likes this Thing a second smaller screen showing the same thing. I tell you, it was a, it was a heck of an attack by Hammer off the beginning, but after that rail, he is. I'm hoping this is a Twitch problem and not my stream going fucking crazy. Yeah, everything's showing up good on my end. So. Knife hand thrust right below the earlobes, which is a nerve center. Now, who has the best hair here, says Nathan. Hey, Nathan, what's up? Um, I'm going to go Nash because Hammer has more hair, but he's, like, kind of fried it. I'm also voting Nash most comfy pants. I would totally wear those pants to bed or to just go to, like, the store. A Patreon. I thought about a Patreon. Patreon. Um, I don't know. Maybe in the future. Um, when when some things calm down on my personal back end, uh, I will consider. I've, I've considered it. I think it'd be fun to do like some members-only streams for the real perverts. Yeah, my computer was freaking out there for a second. Sorry, Brenticus. Nobody ever accused Van Hammer of being a fast wrestler. Dude, I had some rough back end stuff last night among, among along those lines, Mast Heel. Let's just say I'll leave it at that. Because what does a four-minute match need but a chin lock? Listen, if I get enough Patreon, Patreons, Patreons, whatever, whatever you call those people, um, I will, I will get a members-only jacket. But I have to be able to afford it first. I'm paying things off. This classic Kevin Nash, just like getting the, getting the most out of the least. He might be like because Hammer never got good. Like, and I like a lot of wrestlers that a lot of people don't like. I, I can find the good in some really classically bad wrestlers. Van Hammer never got good in any way. He's funny. I think this was. I think the reason they're getting this much time is because this is like the blow off to a few. Their high-profile second match on Pro Feud. Try something here. Not wanting to take any risk, but he's taking one right here. And Hammer's ready to. Uh... Oh, good morning, Mr. Vegas. Good morning, Mr. Vegas. 
Vegas follows him in the corner. Oh, 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 okay, he almost dropped him. That's good. He's Fred Durst. Rapping over the classic moments of this arm wrestling feud would have been fantastic. Big Sky with the run in. Ooh, double choke slam from the two fellas that are a couple of inches taller than this the the other big fella. I mean, I'm gonna try something here real quick. Boom, 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 boom. World Championship Wrestling on Tour Sunday, April 25th, Melbourne, Florida. The Melbourne Auditorium, 7:30. Melbourne, the Melbourne Auditorium. Melbourne, Saturday, April 24th, Fort Myers, Florida. The Lee Civic Center, 8 o'clock bell time. Max Payne and the Nature Boy, Ric Flair, will be in Fort Myers. This Friday, the Lakeland Civic Center in Lakeland, Florida, 8 o'clock bell time. The enforcer, Arn Anderson, and the young lion, Eric Watts. That should have been a one-hour Iron Man match. This Thursday, Fort Can Dustin Park, Paul Park, talk for it? Center, 7.30 bell time. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat and Ravishing Rick Rude will be in Fort Pierce. This Tuesday, a national television... Again, these, these commercials, they drive me nuts. Where, uh... Dustin Rhodes and Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff will be in Montgomery. Tomorrow, they advertise like two wrestlers per show. The All-American Ron Simmons and the NWA champion Barry Windham. Hey, Incident 73. Hello. Yeah, everything WCW did for like a good two-year period graphically was just the Saved by the Bell intro. Men of Action Saturday. I'm not the celebrity, George Stark is. Hotter than hell. I'm not the celebrity. Could be interpreted as schizophrenia. And badder than bad. Eric Watts in action, coming to a town near you. I do not know my tickets. They are at will call. I will find out when I get there. One of these engines was filled with Castrol Syntec, a synthetic oil. The rest with conventional oils. They were then we cannot have one WCW Deep Cuts live stream without uh, without Castrol GTX, the motor oil you can buy at the grocery store. Yeah, they they did a the WCW did a house show at the Sky Dome. If it's anything like the one they did a house show at the Silver Dome, I think they did like 500 people in Detroit. Thank you tough enough to pin me. Can I? Can I be a hotline chat, please? Imagine writing to that customer service address because you were mad at the hotline. Who does, doesn't? It doesn't. Me. You know what you wash with may leave an oily residue. Get out of here. But not clear so daily face wash. It foams My cram and buddy Lee Parker in the same building where Hogan slammed Andre. Hey, Flying Badger X. Welcome. Thank you so much for the follow. Thank you for bringing the flat soda and the uh, half eaten. Leave a cracker. Sit back, relax, join the chat. AKA the Erotic Eric Fontaine Fan Club and relax. Here we go, Brian. More head and shoulders with the lady in the shower. Almost saw some side boob. Like perverts we are. 
on home video. From a storybook wedding to a tabloid war. You made an utter fool of yourself. The shocking truth behind the scandal. Charles and Diana. She was Alice. still alive at this point. Now available from Turner Home Entertainment. Someone Hell yeah, fly, flying by Jurassic. Person after my own heart. With those, uh, with those over microwave peach rolls. Makes them crunchy. I like those. I've said it before. Hot Pockets suck. Pizza Rolls rule. Smokey the Bandit 2 would not be a show in WCW without a Smokey the Bandit uh, rerun commercial. Stetson. Yes, Brian. Does, I had to figure. I just stare. Is, is that Diana taking all those pills? There? The transmission where protector. Slick 50. Man trans. They get rid of the redness, and unlike the leading eye drop, also have an extra ingredient to moisturize. What's my opinion on pizza? They're okay. Pizza bagels. Depends, it depends on, on uh, the, the type, how they're cooked. Dustin Rhodes wanted you to have this. For me? Absolutely. You know something? Dustin Rhodes was a clever idea. thought things were getting progressive with the, the man trans. Castle GTX, and then we're getting Paula, Paula banners, Paula, Paula ben pennants. Hey, Cage and Juggle T, great, good evening, thank you so much. Another kind word about the haircut. Finest that sport clips can buy. Rip Rogers and D -D Dustin Rhodes. Fits the personality of Rip Rogers. He's not a normal individual. No, hey, he's a maniac. No, Appreciate no that. Dustin Rhodes. I, I, I know he's tall. I've seen hundreds of his matches, but I can never get over. Just will be standing next to a normal-sized person, and it's like, oh, he is a giant. Yeah, you, Rip Rogers, indeed, for many reasons. Tonight, I want to go with uh, the time he reached into a diarrhea toilet to grab his uh, grab his keys. That story from McFoley's book. I love how they didn't bring like a giant banner or anything to show. Oh, hey, it's WCW. There's a there's a light. There's a really tiny light up neon sign in the background that says WCW. You can barely see it. Rip's tights appear to just be like the fabric sample. Uh, Dustin Rhodes and Larry Zabisco did feud. They were, uh, Dustin Rhodes had his, uh, it was Barry Windham when he was teaming with Dustin, had his arm slammed in a car door by Larry when he was the cruncher. And Dustin's six foot six. Hey, CJ, CBJ fan. Yeah, Dustin's huge. I've stood next to Dustin before. He's, I'm six foot. I look like a child next to him. Believe our referee is Mike Atkins, aka the uh, the police sketch composite of every other referee in WCW. You are six six, and I also look like a child next to you, Nathan. You and Dustin, you should watch. Nathan, you and Dustin Rhodes should just start like double choke slamming people. That's what tall people do. Geez, six seven. Not huge. <laughs> Speeding to Palma. <laughs> Is he wearing shorts that were firmly the carpet of a 90s movie theater? Now, I, am, I am six foot even. Actual six foot, not dating app six foot. I've measured myself against the door at Steak and Shake many times. That's sweet. Eric Bischoff's trying to actually do, like, insightful play-by-play. Hey, Brent, I thought you were taller than that. Like, we've hung out, and I swear you're taller than that. But if you say so. 
That is not Rip. That is Rip Rogers. And now Rogers getting uh, real aggressive here, Larry. Oh, Jeez. Six foot eight referee. They should just they should have just like given you every belt. The knee. Oops, five foot eight. I'm like Dude, six foot eight ref. Yes, check out Nathan Cheap Heat Spot Fest. Uh Instagram, on TikTok, on YouTube. Uh Really cool, like short clips from various independent wrestling shows. As Dustin Rhodes gets the big win over Rip Rogers. Problems. Why? They're in. They. Problems. The retro wrestling gods know that my car is in the shop. Solutions, solutions. And they just keep playing this damn commercial, right mocking me. And with just one tank full, you'll get better engine performance, performance, performance. Gum out. Solutions to engine problems. Gum out. The people at Pennzoil. Hey, Frosted Flakes fans. Give Wheaties Honey Gold a shot. Hutch upon it. <laughs> Ridiculous. Great touch. Gotta have a sweet shot. Not that the bottle looks small, it's that my hands are big. The salad dressing. A candy laptop. Yes, Speedy. Uh, yeah, that episode of Off the Grid. I think I'm gonna do a makeup episode uh, this month. I'll do a, a third Off the Grid to make it up to the YouTube folks. I collect fines. I'll let you all know when I do it. I don't think I'm gonna do it this Sunday. I got a lot going on. But it'll come up soon. As for people who take tennis, I, I, dude, there. I went to middle school with some crazy tennis players who would like eat lunch at the tennis court because they couldn't stop practicing. Does she have like a relationship with that Pringles can? I mean, phallic. I wanted to see the, the camera turn around and they'd be like, hey, weird old man, why are you asking us if we wash our face? We're teenagers. You better stick her hand in the can for the last chip. That, imagine if that was a campaign slogan. Make America beautiful again. Job well, yeah, you're supposed to, apparently. I don't know. Nobody complains about the blackheads on my face, no. Um, yeah, that's, that's the thing about Off the Grid. I don't, I can't do it every Sunday, so it is kind of hard to forget. I completely understand uh, Mast Heal. Um, most of them are up on archives, but Sunday, again, had no idea. I thought WWE only owned like the first six months of Global, so I'm like, oh, I'll play some later Global. Nope, they own that too. Willie Zoot! Sharon, thank you. Bringing more Van Hammer to the stream. Thank you so much. Give yourself a brush with greatness. Catch the Hollywood Blondes. Right here on TBS on WCW Saturday night. WCW Saturday night, 6 05 Eastern tonight on PBS. Trying to see how many wrestlers who aren't in the company were being flashed to the background. Carl Anderson has returned to WCW after suffering an injury at the hands of Eric Watts. Now, last week on the main event, Arn Anderson met Arn Henderson? one on one to settle this long confrontation. Is, is that, that what they called him when he didn't have a girlfriend? Arn Henderson? End of this match. What happened was certainly a surprise. Hello, Scotland Green. You missed your plug. I plugged you like 10 minutes ago. You brought me Crush Bra from your streams. Crush Bra's here tonight. Thank you for that, Scotland. 
left-handed blows that he's noted for. And right now, being relentless. Snap there, take over. If Arn Anderson has his way, Eric Watson's gonna look like him. He missed. Har yeah, Harn Henderson. And now Eric Watts. Here comes Eric. You know, if he could turn him over. Listen to those three girls in the crowd shot. What what's Bobby doing? And it was a high flyer. That's crazy. Hey Adam 4836. He's gonna disqualify Arn Anderson. Mike Ad like Mike Atkins. Missing a NASCAR race to disqualify. I'm sorry, Nathan. I've noticed that uh, a lot of my stuff gets recommended by Cornette videos. YouTube trying to tell me something. This is post-Dangerous Alliance. This is uh, uh, right after Bill Watts got the boot and Bill Watts broke up the Dangerous Alliance. Can't believe my eyes. Oh yeah, Bobby Eaton's finisher was the uh, the Alabama now, Jam. Not only does Arn Anderson have a score to sell it with Eric Watts, he has they can fly a bit. I just was crazy. They were all the way on the other side of the ring, and Bobby's like, "I'm gonna float." This was my one shot, Bobby. I've been laid up for four months. I always love when Arn would take that little tuft up front and like kind of push it back, like it's like something he can style. Take that, Jim Cornette, catching strays. A very cool. I could not pull off a shaved head. My head's too round. My head would look like a ball of mozzarella cheese. It is. It's like the Tyson Kid hairdo if Tyson Kid didn't have a choice. Look at all these great In punches opinion, being thrown. Arn Anderson has every right to be upset with beautiful Bobby Eaton. And if I know Arn Anderson, we will certainly hear more from him in the weeks to come. That's this week's profile. I'm Teddy Long, the Godfather. Peace out. Peace out. Do -do 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 -do. Power hour aesthetics of like the most boring game of Tetris you'll ever find. I don't think Arn wants to accept his baldness now. Like, he's still got that little tuft going. Hit my computer. Another one of these weird milk commercials. Kids are getting horny. Was that Tony Hall? Well, I'm not changing so far. But milk's at work inside you. Oh, yeah? And tomorrow the difference can show. All that protein for muscle and calcium for bones. But I'm still a skinny bench warmer. Hey, if the sight of yourself at 18 doesn't convince you, Tom, no, I, I... listen to your senior year girlfriend. Hi, Tom. I'm waiting. Milk. It does yeah, body good. Does not age well. General Nutrition Centers can help you open the door to reach a new you. With Twin Lab Gainers Fuel 2500, get 2500 low fat, high powered calories per serving. Fire up your workouts with Gainers. A lot, lot of things trying to sell you on the. Uh... Positives of steroid abuse. You are witnessing a new technology. Your hot girls with hanging out with that ten-year-old kid, apparently. The first and only game powered by the Super FX microchip. That's right. I remember. I remember that being a thing. Like it was going to change the game. The Super FX chip. I sucked at Star Fox. Drink don't get laid, even if your balls don't work yet. The Slam Meat and the Slam Feast. I would love. I need to find somebody who went to Slambury and ask them what they served at the Slam Feast. Imagine it's like a continental breakfast at a hotel. Just like. A box of cornflakes and some like stale bagels. WCW games on the Super Nintendo came out in like 94, right around the time Hogan came in. 
but the rosters were from like before this. Slam steak and eggs. Uh, Diddy's Grand Slam would be so much better with what they probably serve. Chicken fingers and cheap beer. That's how they got the wrestlers. General Nutrition Centers can help you open the door to reach a new you. With Twin Lab Gainers Fuel 2500, get 2500 low fat The GNC, I, I mentioned it the other night during Off the Grid. They had, they would not advertise during WWF shows because they were like, we don't want people thinking our, we support steroid abuse. But apparently they had no problem with WCW. Scorpio, can these guys bust a move or what, Larry? Bust a what? Bust a move, you know, dance. Damn, I know about busting arms, You know, those cool hip kids like Eric Bischoff busting a move. And the guy will stand still. Well, I don't know if he'll stand still or not. He's a high flyer, and they're about ready to do. That's amazing, Tandy laptop. Any further delay. And please, there's a damn restaurant. All they had was chicken nuggets. On like a pay-per-view night. You'd think they'd have like all the food. No, it's just chicken nuggets. There we go. Look at that. Look at these. Ah, oh, that woman has even more comfortable pants than Vinny Vegas had on. Two called Scorpio and Marcus Bagwell against the Wrecking Crew, including uh, Road Warrior Animal and Johnny Ace's brother. Here we go. Watch it. Watch Bagwell go. He's getting with it. Did his mom shave his balls before the match? The back when people acted like they were... We didn't have cell phones back then. I did watch the Dark Side of the Ring about Buff Bagwell. With his, with his mom and his ex-wife Judy. Uh, God, I... Yeah, I... If, if I start a Patreon and I get enough people to sign up, I will get that Marcus Bagwell jacket. What are they chanting, these kids? Wait, what does that even mean? Something you never experienced in your career. You never experienced whoop, there it is. Look at the dark side of the ring, not that I'm promoting them because I don't want you all to turn off the stream and go watch it. But uh, last week's Dark Side of the Ring, Chris Colt was amazing. I'm so happy his story is out to the public now. That guy had a wild life. Yeah, that right there is uh, Mark Laurinaitis, the uh, little brother of Road Warrior Animal and Johnny Ace. I don't see how you find that episode of Dark Side of the Rain boring. Like, there are many others. Oh, shit, he almost did a Canadian Destroyer. Um, like, that one made me want to... Made me want them to do a Mike Boyette Dark Side of the Ring. Chris Colt's partner from that stint that they talked about. Those are the stories I love the best, or when they are the ones we don't know a lot about. Scorpio just making up moves as he goes, channeling his inner Conan. Also, for like, I, I know Scorpio is a lot bigger than he got credit for, but Wrecking Crew. Like, Basher or Steve or whatever his name is, Mark Laurinaitis. For a big guy, he is not that big. Like, I'm sure next to, like, normal people, those guys are huge, but, like... They're, like... Bagwell and Scorpio were, like, quote-unquote, normal-sized wrestlers at this point. And they're all the same size. Hell yeah. I would love to watch the Chris Colt episode at 2 a.m., like have that like weird like tired feeling because it's such a mind fuck. 
good substantial weight advantage here. Wraith checks in. Tuco fights his way out of the corner. Drop Toho. <laughs> no, girl named Chris. I married a guy named Chris. My brother, uh, my brother David, he married a woman named Cindy. Um, but also, we have a sister named Cindy, and it's really weird. I've told him before, it gives me the creeps. I want to remind you fans tonight, WCW Saturday night, 6 05 Eastern. Listen to this the world's heavyweight champion, Big Van Vader, meets. They brought the same neon sign from that other show, but since they're in a building that only holds like 200 people, you can actually see it. Yeah, the uh, the earthquake one, I, I I would get why people think it's boring. I just thought it was very sweet. It was very sweet. Love John Tinta. I love how like he's such a nice guy that like a good chunk of it had to be about Typhoon. Look at the Cole twins. How do you get your hair perfectly flat on top like that? But I tell you, the body parts these guys are attacking is the good strategy. Get them legs out from underneath these strong... Oh, man, a Jimmy Savo. Dark side of the ring. I don't think you could do Jimmy Savo in, in an hour. That dude is a monster. That is guile flat. I think I've told the story in here before. Um... My figure fed when I was a kid, um, I had like the WWF and WCW figures that were like about the yay tall or so. And then I had these Street Fighter figures that were like half the size, but like they they, they had uh, more uh, articulation in the joints so they could do a lot of cool moves. So they were like my minis division. Um, but Guile, since he was so jacked, I had him be the mini that was so strong that he could compete with the uh, with the the tall fellas. He was like the China of their division. Yeah, those figures. Were the, the I had a I had a Ryu, I had Ken, and I had Guy. Ryu and Ken were like the spot monkey dudes. They did all the high flying, and yeah, Guile would like lift up, you know, Ric Flair and Hulk Hogan and body slam him because he was so jacked. What was that? Was a choke push? And Mike Atkins roughing again. Like, none of these matches are from the same taping, so they just picked every damn match Mike Atkins roughed. Yeah, the vibrating WCW figures. Wild. That is, that's Al Green and Mark Laurinaitis. Yes. Crush bra. He was going to say, Jimmy Savile, he had the wrestling career, but it was... I don't know, it's like... I guess it would be like saying uh, Bad Bunny is a wrestler. Not to compare Bad Bunny to Jimmy Savile, because that, that's awful. It would be very mean of me. The real Atkins diet, yes. Scorpio just like, whatever, I'm going to interfere. Who cares? The Wrecking Crew... Uh, both looking like the oldest kid from Home Improvement, Zachary Ty Bryan, those haircuts. Jimmy Savile wrestled, like, actual matches. Um, there's some footage of it on the Netflix doc about him, yeah. And on his gravestone before they took it off because people were going to, like, desecrate it for him being a creep. Like, it said, like, he, he was a wrestler. It's like, wrestler, uh, host, blah, blah, blah. Like 90 jobs he had. Yeah, Kim Justice's videos are dope. Definitely throw him a sub on YouTube. 
catches him, hooks the leg, one, two. Wow, that was close. Roll of the shoulder that time. Well, that was strong. He caught Bagwell in midair. Rage misses to the clothesline, takes an elbow. Now Bagwell has... Out of all the dark sets, who comes off as the shittiest person? I mean, yeah, Benoit. I mean, Benoit's still the shittiest person. Uh, I mean, Mula, yeah, she also had her women who liked her. But if we're just going strictly based off a of dark side of the ring, I don't... Um... I still know why they... I, I, I don't know why they haven't done a buck zoom off. Dark side of the ring. That guy is a piece of trash. There's a guy in the crowd with like a bright yellow baseball hat on that has like just been staring at the ring blankly this whole match. Oh, 450. Oh, very cool. Genghis Frog. Abdullah, yeah. There was the, the weird thing about him like saying he can't read and it being doubted. It was, it was weird. You know, if 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 I can if I can make a dime off those Planet of the Apes commercials that they run during my stream, so be it. Tag team action next. It's a superstar. It's a world championship. Did they just like skip a, a, a house show ad? Like they completely skipped by a show. Yeah, Hannibal sucks. Fort Myers, Florida. The Lee Civic Center, eight o'clock bell time. Max Payne and the Nature Boy, Ric Flair, will be in Fort Myers. Yeah, that's the thing about people who are like, what would Benoit be doing now if he was, he, he wouldn't still be alive. He would have died. His brain was literal mush. Bastics. Like, sounds like breadsticks you can get quickly. Laid back, not idle. Thank you so much for, for following. Appreciate you bringing this flat soda in the crackers. Sit back, relax, join the chat. Nate Benderama, welcome to the chat. Grizzly, okay, Grizzly Smith. I can believe, yes. The Grizzly Smith episode is by far the hardest one, was the hardest one for me to watch. Yeah, Grizzly Smith, you win. Yeah, Nate. It goes, it was Benoit, and then Grizzly Smith really close at number two. You're always wondering if you're getting like that was elements. even harder than the Benoit episode to like watch. Total raisin brand, the raisin brand with the total difference. Um, I I know I'm not going to the BLP show on May 5th in Michigan City. It's a little bit too far of a drive for me. But maybe somebody else's Jonathan. With conventional oils, they were then drained and started without oil to prove a point. You see, again with the Castrol GTX. Lab tests show it needs a layer of protection far stronger than conventional oil. All these engines sitting on protects this well now. stands. Imagine if you leave it in. Castrol Syntec protects in ways other oils can't. The condoms. What girl's gonna go for me with a body like this? Hang in there, Tom. I'm Hang in there. From now, cause you're drinking Someday. Milk and you're working out. Well, like next week. So far, but milk's at work an adult you. will want to have yeah. sex with you. And tomorrow the difference can show. Oh, that's you burnt toy. He's ran skinny bench warmer. Hey, if the sight of yourself at 18 doesn't convince you, Tom, listen to your senior year girlfriend. Hi, Tom. I'm waiting. Milk. It does a Oh, my balls need to start working now. Like, how creepy is that with like hindsight? More Star Fox. We thought that looked so good. Danger. High voltage. When you can go light years beyond, you are Fox the Cloud in Star Fox, only for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. We're working overtime on the premiere of Fleer Ultra NBA basketball cards with tons of white hot action. Marbleized borders. Marbleized borders. 
<laughs> Brian, <laughs> you really did that to your hair. Eesh. They should have gone ahead to like when he was like 40. Really? That job? All right, Adam, have a good one. Talk to you later. Thanks for popping out. Followed at 11.50 Eastern with banged fur balls roaming the earth. Critters to the, the main, main course. course. Num, num, num. All right, welcome back to the Power Hour. Shane Dulles, rookie of the We've been teasing this match the whole hour. We can't even get the damn entrances. They cut that to the millisecond that they start touching. There we go, Ricky Steamboat. Oh. Oh. The Texicans. Come on, Randy Anderson. He is hanging the man. That is attempted murder. This is literally this is att attempted murder. Ricky Steamboat's just out of the match. Oh, there's Grizzly Smith. Real feel-good moment. Like, on top of him being like a giant creep and a monster and a predator, like it was always weird to me that they would use Grizzly Smith for those spots because he was like seven feet tall. He made all the wrestlers look tiny. Oh, Ricky Steamboat gonna do a little strip tease here. You know, it's like Grizzly pretending like he has empathy for you being hurt outside the ring. <laughs> Steamboat safe, he's not kin. It's a good point, Brian. Oh, jeez. A oh, Grizz. I was, ne I was never good at Star Fox. I'm, I'm good at like three games. Like Super Bomberman, uh, Mario Brothers, and uh, like, I don't know, Ken Griffey Home Run Baseball. I don't know what's happening here. Like, the match has started, like, four times already. Steamboat has not switched out of his gi. Ooh. Douglas and Simo back in control. Well, I think Pee Wee Anderson, the referee, is trying to get some sort of control in here. Randy Anderson. You mush and mush. Who cares what he'd appreciate? Tremendous referee. He's a perfect guy that would be like a commandant of a concentration camp. What? Tonight, That's a comment, Larry. Jeez. <laughs> 1993, everybody. <laughs> yeah, that's just a thing to throw it on. Yeah, he's like a commandant in a concentration camp. <laughs> to be fair, that's like... That would be like a mid-range of the mean things that... that uh. Ventura used to say about Sh uh, Shane Douglas because he was Republican. Tony, did you know that he listens to Rush Limbaugh? I gotta say, Shane Douglas, I hate that he gave up that great head of hair. Be the French fries. Yeah, there was internet. Herb Cunz and his wrestling tidbits on RSPW. Hell yeah, thanks for the reminder, Optimum Vision. Shout out to my SSRI gang. Take my meds for the night so that I can go right to sleep as soon as we're done. And I'm not up all night anxious. Oh, 
Larry, I want to talk to you about your attire or a lack of, as the case is. Uh, but this match, too much going on here. We'll when your attire or lack of, Larry, did Larry, like, take off his pants to call this match? Is he just wearing the tie now? Ooh. I'm sure we've talked about it before. Frickin' Henry Godwin, giant man. Dennis Knight. Well, uh, Mark Canterbury, rather. Dennis Knight was the old Tex. I, I could see Larry being like, listen, I'm not on cam. I did my on cameras. A few shots, waist up. Can I just, like, take, take some stuff off? Comfortable? Can I sleep here in the studio? God, Ricky Steamboat is so good. He's still so good. Like, he absolutely could get in the ring now and without doing much, have like a really good five minute match. To think a year later, this man would be like, Dick Flair, I hate you for holding me down. Laughing like Gordon Sully taking a poop. Here it comes. Oh, here we go. Innovation for 1993. Yes. They can all kiss my ass. <laughs> I love how they're plugging a match for the losers. Those guys that just lost. What happened to his shirt? I've been asking you about it. Why in the world? Where did your shirt go? Eric, I didn't want it to end like this, but during the break, I made the final payment on my taxes. You've got to be kidding me. Womp, womp, womp. For not planning ahead. And make sure you plan ahead and be here. Larry's Bisco hates taxes. WCW action on the Power Hour. Until then, for the shirtless Larry Zabisco, I'm Eric Bischoff. We'll see you next time. Promotional consideration. For the shirtless Larry Zabisco. That's just his nickname to me. Look, if I ever meet Larry Zabisco, I'm going to be like, why are you wearing a shirt? The engine treatment with the extra protection of DuPont Teflon. Hey, the cafe that he spilled his coffee. Oh, shit, I got this all over me. I didn't bring a replacement. Um, uh, I don't know. Something about the government. <sighs> Where's Abyss goes to comedy? What Rob Schneider is to comedy? Odor eaters. Wrestling fans need those. We're just going to go right into the second episode. Cause we're already a little bit past the top of the hour. We got one more hour. Today, a special matchup. Beautiful Bobby Eaton, one-on-one against a newcomer to WCW, Johnny Gunn. Oh, it's a special matchup. The NWA champion, Barry Windham, collides with Britain's own... Oh, hey! All friend Steve Regal. Look how big his hair is. That's where old Charlie Dempsey gets it from. Yeah, this is from that weird run from the beginning of 93 where Regal's babyface. Because Bill Watts wanted to make him, uh... Oh shit, I just realized the thing at the top is showing the wrong episode. Good morning, LA. 
Yeah, this is not 1999. Welcome to the Power Hour here on TBS. I'm Eric Bischoff, along with Larry Zabisco. Great broadcast coming up. But what about the return match tonight? 6.05 Eastern, WCW Saturday night. You saw what happened last weekend. Cactus Jack, Big Van Vader. It's going to be a war, Larry. It's going to be a war. I hope the building is strong enough because you're going to have there we go. 235 Fix that. and Pluto. Larry Zabisco's got his shirt back on, together, got a new tie. We'll talk more about it later on in the broadcast. Now let's get down to the ring. Now let's get down to the ring. Now that Double A now that Larry's paid his taxes. A man who is, uh, yeah, it was correct for the last episode. I, I switched career, uh, not the least of which is my broadcast partner. That's a jacket I want. The Arn Anderson guy. suede. Not suede. Oh, Steve Casey. YouTube pervert's gonna be horny for him. I think Zabisco just liked the Stooge. A lot of wrestlers are Stooges fans. I just think he likes the Stooges. But yeah, they were on TV at the time. That's a real surprise. In fact, it happened about two weeks ago on the WCW. Satin, thank you. I, 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 I don't know what's here. Eric Watts in a highly anticipated matchup. Beautiful Bobby Eaton comes in, nails Watts from behind it. And yes, Watts, dude, just wait. Match. When he goes like that, you know, what, what does that Anderson's. mean? And, uh, we'll be hearing I think the Stooges are fine. I used to watch the Stooges sure when, like, I would go on uh, vacation to see my grandma over the summer. And she would always get up at like 4 a.m. and like I would wake up and the Stooges would be on TV. Now you got to give Arn Anderson credit. He is one of the masters. You have to give Arn Anderson credit for being cool with having a little bit of hair on his forehead. Really putting pressure on the arm now, and a nice reversal. Anderson now quick on his feet. Oh, absolutely! Slapstick and wrestling. Not quite the same thing, but like 90% the same thing. And Casey begging for mercy here. Evel right down to the knee and then a figure four on the leg. And look how Anderson, you know, puts the leverage on the I love how the, the lighting, the right like in the back this, uh, area there by the entrance, makes it look like the, the WCW the logo is hell. The and that's, uh, knees only take 15 pounds of pressure before Like when they, they cut break. back over to a shot where you can see Anderson, quite capable of, uh, the, the, the dim way that it's enough like. pressure to probably break just about any bone he chooses. And I've said it a million yeah, times before. Arn Anderson yeah, probably shoot the guy. knows more ways to break more bones than anybody in this sport. Yeah, I, you know, Steve Casey's a big fan, or a big favorite among the YouTube, like, wrestling fetish perverts. And it's because he, among other reasons, I mean, the tight are small, but also he doesn't wear those damn knee pads. As we all know, perverts don't wear knee pads. Double A Arn Anderson, one of the original four horsemen. I tell you, Arn Anderson, very intense individual. The man's personality reflects. Arn Anderson and Mike Atkins, who again, another damn Mike Atkins match. Um, definitely gonna go to the Allman Brothers concert Arne after the show. One of the tremendous athletes from the state of Minnesota. And you know, you look at Minnesota and all the fine wrestlers that that state has put out. Arn Anderson from Apple Valley, Minnesota, which is a sub Just suburb of completely St. Paul. Going into the, uh, the, there. And again, the, uh, the reputation Anderson K. Fit, Apple Valley, Minnesota. Come on, knows, really? These guys are all brutal maniacs. Brutal from Rome, Georgia. Comes to mind when we're looking at what Arn is doing to uh, Steve Casey here, putting a tremendous amount of pressure. Uh, he knows the all neck. the holes. He knows how to put pressure on. Sitting over top the man. That's where you get the power. Casey in trouble here. On a that's, that's a good point. Stephen Neptune. Right the two most simped over wrestlers are Rhea Ripley and Steve Casey. See, look at him. Now that. He's not a member of the clergy we're dealing yeah, like, with here. Photoshop them together. A student observation there. Steve Casey tried to fight his way off the road. I would say get them together at a convention, but Steve Casey probably dead. What is with everyone wearing tidy whitey suits? It's trying to trying to get the YouTube views. Yeah, they, that's, he has knee pads, but they don't count because they're over his boots. He needs to protect his ankles, apparently. Casey coming back. A couple elbows to the midsection. Knee to the chin. Anderson really turning up uh, the pressure here. Here we go. Spinebuster. And 
And Arn's like, I don't even need to really go for a pin. Hollywood Blondes. James Bond Wednesday on TBS. James Bond this Wednesday night's double feature. A few weeks ago, we, we watched a show where they like produced a really nice original commercial for James Bond reruns, and this is just like, hey, come watch James Bond reruns. Here's the footage. Spear gun. I think he got the point. And spectacular battles on the sea and under it. Look out. There's some interpersonal hygiene. Would you mind giving me something to put on? The Maniacal Blowfield. You think your boss is difficult. And of course, no one's never a Bond guy. Quite like James Bond. Never my so thing. There you have it. 007 reasons not to miss Thunderball. Followed by You Only Live Twice. Thunderballs. James Bond. It's what they used to call um, this like Enos back in the day. Eastern on TBS. Because he would walk around on Thursday WCW shows in the locker room naked. Every bag of Skittles. Skittles. Well, there's Grapeberry. Oh, it's sad. What is the name thing? Like Lim Lamor. Lemma, Lemma, Lemma. No, what? no, like like lemon, lime, and orange. See, every Skittles combination is a new taste with a new name. New taste, new name. New taste, new name. Oh, I get and it. Strawberry. Lemon, orange. Orange, you remember them? Perhaps not. So how many combinations? It's crazy how all, all these kids were on candy. drugs. Spell, taste the rainbow. In 1993. On real hard hallucinogenics. Problems. In there, mocking me. Problems. Problems. Solution, solution, solution. Solution, solution, Organ solution. Fuel system cleaners right in your gas tank, and with just one tank full, you'll get better engine performance, performance, performance. Carbon choke cleaner. Another real Ripley. Some people thing. at Pennzoil. What girl's gonna go for me with a body like this? Hang in there, Tom. I'm you two years from now. Cause you're drinking. Now that voiceover milk guy now. took well, a big pile so of crap far, in the commercial and you. made it gold. Oh, yeah? And tomorrow the difference can show. All that protein for muscle and calcium for bone. Also, you'd think. I'm still a skinny bench warmer. Hey, if the side of yourself. Not like that guy is like super Listen jacked muscle girl, hunk. Hi, Tom. He's a pretty I'm skinny waiting. adult, dude. Milk. It does a body good. <laughs> yes, best deal. It's a pretty rough ride. Yeah, right. My brother doesn't know what my Murray Flexor can do. The spring loaded fork handles the tongue. My brother doesn't no know problem. that his his car the sucks. Is made for rugged riding. And it's actually way slower than my bike. Yeah, he had no idea what my Murray Flexor could do. But he does now. Hey, Flexor! Hey! Earth. Little Ten-year-old brother, you want to drive my car? <laughs> yeah, I failed high. I failed eight years of high school. Oh God! Amos Mo oh, Amos Moses. We saw him on the NWF off the grid. Famous Amos. That's Terry Funk called him. Who's managing this guy? Jerry Reed? Jerry Reed. Where's the being a saucy little boy in these shows? Yeah, look at Brian Pillman's blonde hair. They're stirring up a lot of controversy anywhere and everywhere they go. We know sarcasm. Hey, Peter Crawford. Sorry to hear. I've, I, I know the feeling, dude. As I yawn right into the microphone. Yes, thank you. A lot of folks being very kind tonight about my haircut. Well, we're all very kind. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad they made famous Amos Moses put on tights. Imagine him in his ripped up jeans doing job. Thank you, Commodore Amigo. Austin in there with Joey Jackson. Jackson, low center of gravity. 
Pretty powerful athlete. He's, I think he's the same height as Austin. Look at Austin. That's what I'm talking about. The tenacity of this individual. This guy or are you saying that he has a big belly? And doesn't get tired. I mean, his belly is that big. He is nonstop. He can never be like us. Austin really going after Jackson. Yeah, the, the blondes rule, man. What's that old expression? Like, I know I sound like everybody else, but it's a shame they didn't get a longer run. Yeah, not even close, Larry. Tag is right. In comes Pillman. What's well, not even close? Well, Pillman's boot comes in before Pillman does. Well, Pillman's Which boot like comes in. in there. Shot to the top of the chest. Oh, oh, oh geez. Well, those pale guys are a dream to chop because those chop, those handprints show up instantly. Well, I tell you, look at, look at Cole. That is a good point, Stephen J. Nicktoon. Yeah, that's totally true. Austin would rarely tape up his hands for like squash matches. Amos, Ma Amos Moses is not the Cajun predator. Amos Moses, uh, we saw him wrestle. Uh, if you watched uh, one of the first off the grid Sunday streams I did, you watched uh, this like weird Louisiana territory called the NWF in 1992. He wrestled there. He had like ripped up jeans. Bob Holly not in WW at this time. He was uh, working back at the factory. He, I think he had already quit Smoky Mountain. On a receiving end of a tremendous suplex, a lot of velocity there. But I tell you, basically, these two guys Ooh, are in against the world's strongest of slam by Steve here. Austin. Tag is made. In comes Pillman. Oh, that's cool. We want to talk about Austin and Pillman at Spongebob. It's Spongo's cool. Okay, at Tigre. This, uh, a restaurant in Hollywood. These guys are taking this Weird. Hollywood blonde thing. I'm not going to speak for everybody else, but I, I like Amos Moses. I thought he was right fun. Now, Going after Moses. Bob might have been racing cars, but uh, I know he's working in a factory like full time. And doing the car racing on the side. Oh, jeez. Well, I don't think, I think uh, Harlem Heat came in right as the blondes were kind of getting faded out. That's a field goal, what that is. You know what they're doing, Eric? They're instilling. The Harlem Heat started like into the summer of '93. And that's when the Hollywood Blondes started to like get separated. Yeah, he did it again. The Heat essentially took the Blondes' spot as the top heel team. You know, call the thing. I'm trying to analyze it for you. Yeah, from your perspective. They're instilling reputation. Oh! Oh! That looked gnarly. That ruled. Concussions exist. Yeah, we didn't we didn't know about concussions back then. We didn't know that if you hit somebody in the head, that it would hurt their brain. Crazy. But this is instilling fears of future opponents, Eric. All part of the master psychological. What is Austin doing? Like the ring's like moving. Here we go. Comic blind. Backlash effect. There's the three count. Finally, your winner, Steve Austin. Uh, Bobby and Benoit were together through like, like into June '93, beginning of July '93. Right after Bobby, I believe, was a heel at this point, and they're like, "Oh, hey, high flying Bobby Eaton. He's exciting. Do him." It's the superstars of World Championship Wrestling on Tour Sunday, May 2nd, Harrisonburg, Virginia. The Harrisonburg High School Gym, 7.30. It is time. wild. National TV Smith company. Ravishing Rick Rude will We're coming to the Harrisonburg High School. Saturday, Roanoke, Virginia, the Civic Center, 8 o'clock bell time. Johnny B. Bad and Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff will be in Roanoke. This Friday night, the Dort Arena and Raleigh, North Carolina, Arena. 8 o'clock bell time. Arn Anderson and Eric Watts, part of a great card, coming to Raleigh. This Thursday, Greenville, South Carolina, Memorial Auditorium, 7.30 bell time. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. 
Road and the NWA champion Barry Windham will be in Greenville. National television taping this Tuesday night, Gainesville, Georgia. This Georgia Thursday, Center, Glory Storch Sports Porch in Butte, Montana. Come Tomorrow meet Tex Slassinger and his three-legged dog. They, they literally advertised a house show. Come meet the Cole Twins. That's somehow worse than the scenario, scenario I came up to like make fun of it. Their domain for 200 million years. Now man has arrived, and it's lunchtime. It's lethal water Saturday. At 12 I imagine all of these cynics that are still exist. Like a lot of like buildings like that that are like, kind of round. Yeah, WWF was also was they were doing raw in high school gyms a lot. But I feel like they would never like be like, hey, we're at this high school gym. Tentacles, Orca, Wales. <laughs> come have my, I mean, my Graham have come talk to you about cabinets. Come see how thick Mike Graham's glasses are. These things, this prescription is ridiculous. Come meet Larry with or without his shirt. You can't buy a better basketball card. But you can steal them. Here's your chance to wrestle one of WCW's toughest wrestlers. Play pin the champ on the WCW wrestling hotline. You choose the moves. You choose the holes. You what if I chose a uh, moss crop cover three handled chance, family crudge? One ring away from the ring. Call 1 900 909 9900. Another another football game. Calls cost 99 cents a minute. Oh, that's awesome, Chili. Come on, step in the ring. WW promoting house shows at the you local high school football games. Technology. I stole wrestling magazines when I was a kid. I'd shove them down my pants. And my dad my dad caught me because I kept the magazine when I shoved up down my pants as I was walking upstairs. He's like, Why are you walking funny, son? You shit your pants? No, Dad. And I pulled out a, a magazine. And he made me go around the house and find every coin I could until I found the however many dollars cost. And he took me to the grocery store, made me pay for it, and he threw it away. What he didn't know is I already read it in the aisle while they were shopping, so I didn't give a shit. Yeah. Now my dad would have stolen it from me if it was a Playboy. It's a pretty rough ride. Yeah, right. My brother doesn't know. <laughs> it's not a wrestling magazine. I would have rather you shit in your pants. Yeah. Handles the tough stuff. No problem. And the oversized tubing is made for rugged riding. Yeah, he had no idea what my Murray Flexor could do, but he does now. Hey, Flexor by Murray. Lex or promotional consideration. I, I can see kids following. with like shitty little like for everything that's like weeks. Now, one dollar one chain one should like bikes trying down. to do that same thing one and like dying in the desert. System. Eliminate shake, rattle, and roll in the back of your vehicle with load hugger. Fits all makes and models. Load hugger and, and sport utility vehicles. Load I believe Steve Casey was wearing a pair of load huggers Sneaker earlier. Tamers insoles from odor eaters. Came even ferocious sneaker odor with the world's most powerful. <laughs> yeah. yeah, my dad made me buy it back because yeah, it was all over my nuts. Welcome back to the action here on the Power Hour, Larry. Earlier on, we got a look. Larry's a biscuit, uh, 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 Bischoff suit jacket looking a little big with. for him. Beautiful Bobby. You know, beautiful zoot Bobby, suit riot. Of the Alabama riot. Jam. Problem is, Eric, if he misses it, he's going to be selling used cars with Honest Guy Hunt. A lot of bad blood between our Honest Anderson guy and Bobby. Eaton. Let's get down to the ring and see how things unfold in this next. Yeah, shirt's still on. As beautiful Bobby Eaton steps isn't the making ring. a statement about the government at this point. And Larry, this should be a tremendous matchup. Bobby Eaton, who's returned here to WCW, in a big I love way Bischoff doing out. that like thing where like you make your voice sound like matchup. you're shouting, even though the volume hasn't got up any. Because he can't hear you over all that and, uh, fake crowd I know noise. Bobby Eaton had the best intentions in heart, and I know Arn Anderson is just a snap psycho individual. This should be a great matchup, though. Bobby Eaton and Johnny Gunn. 
Look at those mullets. An athlete that desperately needs a win here, but he's facing a tough, tough customer in Bobby Eaton. Well, Johnny Gunn is kind of going. Noel is very excited for AEW tomorrow. He cannot wait to see Will Ospreay. Will Ospreay is his guy now. Ospreay and Swerve. He's excited. As it is the wrong way. As far as I'm concerned, when I needed you, you didn't come over. You didn't call. You didn't come check on me. Nothing. I think we've seen this promo like well, four times already. Of, uh, Arn Anderson as it relates to Bobby Eaton. Yeah, see, there's Arn Anderson. Dude, Claudio and I'm so psyched for Claudio and Osprey tomorrow. That's going to be great. Like, him and I are excited for that match for two diff very different reasons. I think it's going to be a great match. He just wants to see Will Ospreay, like, stand there. I told him, like, oh, hey, they say Swerve's going to cut a promo tomorrow. And he's like, all I need Swerve to do is walk out. And I'm good. You know, Bobby Eaton went for the abdominal stretch. Johnny Gunn blocked it and whizzed him over with I think Arn cut that promo on Bobby like four or five different times. There's a different angle from around this time that was on like Worldwide where he cut that promo. But I, it's it's different. And then, yeah, he did it in Smoky Mountain too. So weird. I wonder what's going through Bobby Eaton's mind right now because Arn Anderson and Eaton were very, very close at one point. But you were close with with uh, both Anderson. I mean, let me put you on a spot. Of the two, which is a better wrestler? Uh, boy, they're both good wrestlers. Arn Anderson is just a little bit more vicious, I think. It would be a, it would be a, a, cost, a toss of the coin matchup. Bobby Eaton now shoots a half Nelson, trying to get Gunn over. Gunn blocks it. Eaton maintains control of Johnny Gunn. And bless Eric analog. Bischoff's art for trying to do oh, actual play-by-play. Johnny Gunn looking real good in this contest. Reverses the hour. Oh. Back. 180 I'm glad I'm glad Bobby dodged that because it took and, uh, Johnny Gunn a second Gunn to get up there. Pulled the trigger just a little too soon. Well, I tell you, Johnny Gunn went for a big move trying to get the reputation of him, but it could be a big mistake. And Ooh, Bobby that knee drop rules. Knee to the head, rolls gun over, moves it for the kill. One, two, three. Wait, that was like they've been advertising that as a special match. And it's like, no, he just squashed him. I think Swerve wins fun match. Yeah, I think Swerve's taken over. Are they going to just do the promo again? Hold me down. Yeah, right. I don't even think you would want to get in the middle of this one, Larry. Or it's like, Bobby, I really need to tell you this. Don't you forget. And Bobby's like, mm -hmm. I feel a little bit strange having to come out here and butt into national television to get a few words with you, but it seems like this is the only way I'm going to get a few words with you. You see, about four months ago when I went... He's this! Injury, He's doing the same fucking promo! I, I might never wrestle again, and I was kind of walking around kicking myself in the, my pants, feeling sorry for myself. He's kicking himself in his I pants. Heard all the people whispering. I heard them all whispering. Yeah, the wired you mic, 93. Some of what you've been giving out all these years. You deserved it. And I got to thinking about it. It made me mad at first, but then I got to thinking, yeah, well, maybe they're right. Then a guy came up to me in the gym... <laughs> he said, you know, Anderson, I disagreed. Bobby, it has been three weeks now. You still didn't call said, me. But there's, I want you to get well for one reason and one reason only. I kicked yourself in your pants. Tragic, you just hang on. Bobby's like, I've heard this. Can I just go? I know what happened. You punched me. The one person, hang on, Bobby, the one person that I expected to come by. Say, hey, Arn, are you getting Yeah, it was me. I know. You said it last time. <laughs> oh, poor Dax. Yes, yes, I know. I know. Or just let me go. I hope so. <laughs> Bobby's witty. Yeah, yeah, okay. 
Get it. I'm not going to get violent, Bobby. I'm not going to hit you. I'm not going to hit you. Oh, the hell I'm not. Oh, the hell I'm not. That's a good line. I'm not going to hit you. The hell I'm not. But seriously, why is he cutting this damn promo so many times? He's a snake. He attacked him from the back. Like, also, I don't what think they like had a big blow off. I think this is this was it. Like when you're not pleasure to clean the with a tin time. Bobby. Oh, more Van Hammer coming up. Heavy metal madness. New Fleer Ultra Basketball has tons of action. 3D graphics. Gold for 3D graphics. And UV coating. Ultra. You can't buy a better basketball card. National Geographic Explorer takes you to the heart of nature's most powerful force. Dave and Syracuse, thank you. Nine months in a row, subbing with Prime. Some more DECA that I can shove into my butt cheek. Thank you so much for the sub. Hair in salon condition. Sassoon knows how that feels. It's you. Ooh, Sassoon. Spotlight. And we know how hard it is to keep that feeling at home. So we created the special Jones? that disappear. Don't wear hair down like others. We'll give you the hair. Sassoon hair. Salon feel at home. Arden Hammer. Yes. Thank you. Arden Hammer. That would have been a great team. You better stay here. It's a pretty rough ride. Seriously, they just yeah, want these right. kids to get hurt on bikes. Running this damn ad so much. Imagine a kid getting one of those hearing aids. And then going on, on the bike. Now. Cutting it up in the desert. Flexor by Murray. Up for deck has a few average card collectors. Ah, thank you, Scotland. I appreciate the sub. I click back to four months. Subs. Thank you for the prime sub. Look, it's, it's, it's a hype train. Again, I don't really know what a hype train is. It just brings up the cool thing. Dude, that would have been great if that was just a randomly Davy Jones talking shop about cutting hair. So you guys wash your face, right? Who does it? Your skin looks flawless, huh? Naturally. Look in the mirror much? You know what you wash with may leave an oily residue. Get out of here. But no hey, Syracuse, thank wash. you. It Appreciate it. Dirt and oil from pores, where pimples start without leaving an oily residue. Getting excited for Van Hammer and coming up. Skin leads to clear skin. Keep America beautiful. Use it. Clear still daily face wash. That kid is a senator now. Leads to clear. Coming over tonight. Hank Williams Jr. He was born to boogie. Down, born to boogie. I'll put it apart and I was born to boogie. Now available for the first time ever. Hank I always love these uh, Hank's biggest hits from his gold and platinum career. These commercials for these like compilation records. Where they like the musician had to like come record clips of them playing. Hank 22. Like a closet somewhere. <laughs> yeah, definitely don't look at the Twitter. The ultimate Bo Cephas collection. Just return it and you will get your money back. Plus, Hank will send the first 50,000 callers the words to these songs. Free. The words. Lyrics? Or like he'll, he'll write them personally to you? Or money order to Hank 22, PO Box 2889, Atlanta, Georgia. The words. Oh, Teddy Long in the house. Cactus Jack met in the hype train. Heavyweight champion Big Van Vader one on one. Now, when you take a look at what you're about to see, you're going to Teddy see Long wearing his hangover shades. You have never seen before. Let's yes, so extended game. play CD means this sounds like shit. Kind of like a rag doll now, bouncing around. Look at look at. Yeah, I bet, yeah, we could absolutely call right now, Brent, and be, like, within the first 10,000. Here he comes. Oh, he moves. See, that's why we need those guardrails back. 
I'm sorry, I think it looks cooler when a wrestler goes bowling through one of those than those big, thick, padded ones they have these days. Ooh. This match rules. That tummy ache. <laughs> right. I can't it. Beat the world They're giving him hernia. Of course, there's a Dank Williams on Spotify. What a brutal match! Now, not only that, but what a big surprise for Cactus Jack, and it certainly left the world heavyweight champion Irish. Eddie Suits. Now, here's what Big Van Vader had to say to Cactus Jack. Looks like the final product match. of all of those. Colors in the background. In a street, in an alley, at my house, in my backyard, it don't matter. The Come over to my house and fight. I'm not going to your house. Come over to my house. We don't have to sign a yeah, the, the thick padded guardrails. Yeah, just might as well be like, hey, this doesn't hurt. And I'm gonna get it back. Blood, sweat, and tears. Next week, right here. No contract, no sanction. No sanctions. I'm gonna get arrested. Well, tonight at 6:05 Eastern. That sweaty Vader. You know you're in for a good promo when that guy's all nice and angry and warm. Big Van Vader. These two men will meet in a rematch, one on one, tonight on WCW Saturday Night. That's this week's profile. I'm Teddy Long. I'm gonna raise up out of here. Here we go, Van Hammer with his Harley tank top and his do-rag or is that a bandana looks a, looks too tight to be a bandana I think that's a do-rag Harley Davidson of Atlanta Gary McGoo McGaw thank you again Dave that would be awesome Hammer. if Vader and Mick Foley were like really like grilling weenies They're like okay these are cooked let's fight bam save your WW Van Hammer what was that you were standing right here. Imagine being too slow for Van Hammer. Gary Magoo. Hammering away now. Oh. Yeah, that was a good job. I imagine Gary Magoo when he goes home and goes to the bar thinks like in his head his image is that he looks like Hammer with that haircut. Oh jeez. Oh. Van Hammer tried to backdrop him by the pelvis. Return match between Cactus Jack and Big Van Vader. Fans around the country. <laughs> Head's not big enough to be JD McDonough's dad. So Naga on. All indications are this match could be even more intense. They are good the jobber tights. One, two. Like, they are very, it's very thrown together. Oh, no, it's, he clearly team. asked the seamstress. To just use whatever scraps were left. And eventually it'll make a whole outfit. It's from his mom, son. I've heard that. We go slingshot. It's actually better than I thought it'd be considering everything else that Mr. McGee did. Brenticus, thank you so much. Get used to it, boy. Thank you. I I appreciate you being here. I'm more than happy to bring the Roid Guts and the Singles every Tuesday. 
Big Ron in action. Three miles the most clever caption they could come up with. Three people with stand Ron. alone to face a new form of terror. Peter Weller, Amanda Pays, Leviathan. 1035 Eastern Sunday on TBS. Jim Cornette was sitting at home watching TBS. New Fleer Ultra Basketball has tons of action. 3D graphics. Gold foil stamping. And UV coating. Fleer Ultra. You can't buy a better basketball card. How did Van Hammer last almost see in the WCW? It's because he had big old muscles. Problems. And he was like 6'5". And... Problems. We were at that point in wrestling where promoters were like, Problems. if you look like that in a Solution, picture, you can, solutions, we solutions. think you can make money. Pour gum out fuel system cleaners right in your gas tank, and with just one tank full, you'll get better engine performance, performance, performance. Gum I am, out, again, I am carb choke cleaner. From the people at Pennzoil. Hagging myself. Two babies were switched at birth. One got the fortune, the other got the shaft. Now the odd man out is out to get even. Accidents happen, don't they? People falling out of windows. Shooting accidents. Oh! Car crashes. Accidents. Join Rick Moranis, <laughs> Eric Idle, and John Cleese in Splitting Airs. Rated PG-13 starts Friday. Yeah, April these have been good shows, Tandy Laptop. National I agree. Geographic Explorer takes like, it could be heart. much, much worse. One second, you're living in a big city. Ten seconds later. Next second, Castrol GTX is all over the place. Fury, 9 Eastern Sunday, exclusively. Nature's Fury, I think that was one of the guys from the Wrecking Crew. So, you guys wash your face, right? Rick, Rick Moranis rules. We stand Rick Moranis in this house. Get out of here! But not clear Soul Daily face wash. It foams away trapped dirt and oil from pores where pimples start without leaving an oily residue. And clean skin leads to clear skin. Keep America beautiful. Use it. Clear Soul Daily face wash. I'm sorry, I could use all the clear cell there is on the planet. I would never look like those teenagers again. This show has three sponsors. My brother doesn't know what my Murray Flexor is. And 20 minutes of ad time. Handles the tough stuff. No problem. And the oversized tubing is made for rugged life. They might and they might be on that beach still now talking about how clean their faces are. That's where they are now. Hey, Flexor by Murray. Bow, bow, bow. Bow. Don't step to Ron. Look at how dark that building is. Why does Ron Simmons have an axe on his tights? <laughs> yes, it is like Twitch. Oh, Bob Cook. Friend of the account, Bob Cook. Really, no pun intended, Larry. I'm serious. What? Ron Simmons is like, hey, this guy has a shirt on. Cool. Larry Sabisco, get a shirt on like this guy. Sure, yeah, probably for the Florida State's the most. It's just, it's just a random axe, though. Just... Yeah, Bob Cook's about to step to Ron, and that never goes well. But Bob Cook. Bob Cook, big evil Knievel enthusiast. Uh, He's like one of America's the, uh, like, foremost Evil Knievel experts, like legit. Collector of Evil Knievel memorabilia. This has one hell of a punch. One of the all-time great punches in wrestling. Uh, you look at the list. Of course, you got the injury to Ron Simmons. You've got. Yeah, Bob's also got some mish mishmashed gear going on. Oh, the list goes on. Weird drop oh, kick from Ron Simmons. A, like a Joshi drop kick. Oh, jeez. Caught him in the jaw with that one. Really, uh, cleaning up here with Cook. Yeah, he's not underestimating Cook at all. He's 100% business. He's certainly not holding back any Tomahawk, that would make sense. It, just, it, the, the way it's drawn, it just it looks like an axe. 
You know, Larry, all the ingredients? Come on. Cook has all the ingredients. There you go. Cook has all the ingredients. Listen to this commentary. And all the jokes. On the X7. Then get me a coffee. I don't want you know, I'm not that interested to bring it up. Leg drop right across the chin. Get off the man's eyes. Oh. Right hand to the jaw of Ron Simmons. Now Simmons coming off the rope. Back body drop. I always love the singlets with the little strap across the back like the old lady bathing suits. Hey, Drew Bog. Yeah, Bob Cook's awesome. Ron Simmons wins an inconsequential match. Inconsequential So consequential that we're just cutting next, right back to commercial. Big Bad Barry. Alliteration at its finest. Now let's find out where the Cole twins will be next. Of World Championship Wrestling on tour Sunday, May 2nd, Harrisonburg, Virginia. The Harrisonburg High School Gem, 7.30 bell time. The British Bulldog, Davey Boy. Yeah, Dan, Dan was funny. Will be in Harrisonburg. I'll give you that, Ruffs is Wizards. Brutal, Virginia, the Civic Center, 8 o'clock bell time. Johnny B. Bad and Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff will be in Roanoke. This Friday... Ron Simmons really has one of the all-time great promo voices. Arn Anderson and Eric Watts, part of a great card coming around. I've heard Ron's this a sweetheart. Thursday, South Carolina Memorial Auditorium, 7.30 bell time. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat and the NWA champion Barry Windham will be in Greenville. National television taping this Tuesday night. Gainesville, Georgia, the Georgia Mountain Center, 7 o'clock bell time. The natural Dustin Rhodes and the Hollywood Blondes will be in Gainesville. Tomorrow night, Just those three people. We're just going to make a TV show with those three wrestlers. Twins, part of a great card coming to Melbourne. And ladies and gentlemen, tonight, Fort Myers, part of the Lee Civic Center, 8 o'clock bell time. Sting and Big Van Vader on the card tonight in Fort Myers. Hey, Frosted Flakes fans. Oh, uh, Frosted Flakes at the tennis court again. Great touch. All those uh, lactose intolerant tennis players about to have the poops. And they put milk in their cereal. What a match. It's just Robin, their their plates everywhere. Wednesday on TBS. Here now, a few of the double of seven reasons to watch this Wednesday's double feature. The Evil Largo, complete with official evil eye patch. There's some interpersonal hygiene. And of course, no one blows up a villain's headquarters quite like James Bond. Thunderball, followed by You Only Live Twice. And you this cannot Wednesday, name a movie Thunderbolt. Because I will put an S at the end of it. In the May, WCW Magazine, is Cactus Jack's new attitude too good to be true? Big Van Vader reveals his private playbook of pain for Sting. Private playbook? Of, that sounds like a fetish thing. Vader's Get private playbook now. of pain. I watched that on my phone. I got a virus. By subscribing today, call 1-800-GET-WCW-1. I don't know, all the latex suit, the private playbook of pain. The first and only game I'll Why go to the next level when you can go light years beyond? You are Fox McCloud in Star Fox, only for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. <laughs> you better stay here. The Bay Raider should have written a book, but his private yeah, playbook right. pain. My brother doesn't know what my Murray Flexor can do. The spring-loaded fork handles the tough stuff, no problem. And the oversized tubing is made for rugged writing. He had no idea what my Murray Flexor could do, but he does now. Hey, Flexor by Murray. Tonight on TBS, Bobby Cox and his Braves take another shot at the Cardinals. Then after the game, a high school experiment goes wrong, but it zapped. feels right. Scott Bayo is zapped. That's all tonight I've, on TBS. I, trust me, I've read his Twitter. That motherfucker is zapped. Welcome back to TBS. 
Here we go, Barry Windham with his saucy entrance music. No talking about Barry Windham. I miss I miss the era where you could just go to like a leather goods store, find a jacket you like, and 30 minutes later you have a new ring entrance jacket. Look at that jacket on Regal. Keeping all of his secrets in their hair. And Regal certainly has a lot to uh, gain here. Nothing to lose, everything to gain. That's the kind I of vaguely remember this being a really good match, if it's the one I'm thinking. Yes, white, white meat babyface uh, Stephen Regal. I think this was his last match before they took him off TV to repackage him as his lordship. But yeah, no, when he came to America, uh, Bill Watts' plan for him. He wanted right Regal to be uh, like Billy Robinson. Regal. Very quick on his feet. You know, Regal and then when Watts got fired, all those plans went. He's a whoosh. very good mat technician, excellent wrestler. Uh, we'll see how aggressive he is. But again, he's got to be he's got to be on the offense here. Uh, Wyndham, he doesn't have to pursue. Regal, Regal another Regal guy. You never. Up. Hey, and this just you, you never Ron, know. So Ron Simmons, I mean, you victory. never think about how big well, he is tonight, until you so see him standing WCW next to like a really a real big guy Simmons, or a real small guy. Face. Yes, Eric Bischoff and Scott Bayo are, are creative partners. Tonight, Scott Bayo is 45 and single. That, that was Bischoff's show. Tremendous night of action coming your way. Make your plans to be a part of it. Look at the way Wyndham digs that elbow into the tricep muscle. That's a... Yeah, that's, that's when Bischoff was going to be a reality reality TV tycoon, along with uh, Jason Hervey. You get the idea. Hurts, don't it? Man, stay off the. Jason Hervey was uh, also creatively involved in both WCW and TNA at different points. Like to be able to sign my check next Friday. Yeah, real creeps. Barry Windham, Steve Regal. A lot of uh, respect on the part of both of these athletes. Yeah, look at the eyes. Barry that, Windham uh, rocking the Windham Edgar Winter hair. Tied up with Regal, like I said, he can't afford to make any mistakes. Regal, Regal's going to have to be on the offense, and he's going to have to go after Windham full bore here. It's always hard to riff on these good matches. See, again, going I the saw road. that Viva La Fran. Global Force the Entertainment. It's not just Jeff wrestling, it's it's you know everything like now. Everything you know, Jeff Jarrett. So under so one, so under sure an umbrella. To, uh, to throw those Global umbrella. I don't think we're buying his gold. I just think he's giving us gold. Yeah, it's like a news website for like entertainment, wrestling, sports, etc. Plus two more key elements: knowledge and wisdom. Right here is an display of knowledge. He's standing over Regal. That's where he's got all his weight, right, and his power with his center of gravity. Wisdom. That's going to be the factor of leading up to not making any mistakes. Combine all that, you're a champion. All right, Larry Zabisco. Yes. Talking about Ooh. wisdom. We do. We need more websites. I'd like you to impart a little bit. Of Internet doesn't knowledge. have enough websites. Why won't Barry Windham even talk about Ric Flair? What's the problem? Well, see, now that's something I can't tell you unless I call my uh, psychic. So oh, 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 that answer lies only in the brain of Barry Windham. Big uppercut forearm. Another uppercut forearm by Steve Regal. Now here's Regal putting on the offense. And that's what Regal's he has to do. any role where you would put Regal on his yeah. Re uh, Jared's going back to Mexico, Regal, too. Very aggressive with his two large here. adult sons, Satnam Singh and what's his face? Here's Regal's, little here's fake Brock Lesnar, dude. Uh, Wyndham's bigger, he's longer, he's taller. This is where Regal's longer. He's got to have Larry, on what are we on the mat, doing here, bud? All the same size. And Wyndham. 
Regal attempting a standing barrel roll, but I think the sweat caused him to lose. Uh, Parker Boudreaux, thank you. You notice Wyndham dropped down. Wanted to call him Skil uh, Skilrix so or Skrillex for some reason. I'm going to call That seems like that would be his name. Dead Mal 5. Yeah, that is kind of shitty that AEW is like, yes, yeah. yeah, CMLL, we'll send you the Blackpool Combat Club. And like Brian Danielson will do a dream match with Blue Panther. Uh, main event. In a, a arena Mexico. We're gonna send you Parker Boudreaux. Triple A. Sure, Conan will be uh, bitching on his podcast any day now. Yeah, Bischoff and Zabisco aren't bad. They're definitely trying hard. Which is more you can more than you can say for many WWE commentary teams. Via his hair, man alive. See, look at even Wyndham still. Maybe he maybe was like he took AEW out of his bio, so maybe this is just him doing it on his own. Like I know they're sending Satna, which is very funny. Open hand to the side of the head. Hey, I want to take this opportunity to let got released. That would be sad. Sodom sing I love Sodom. But I do want to mention just one thing. A flare for the door. Talking about Rick Sodom. Sodom's the best. Sodom should be on that show every freaking day. I thought you were talking about Missy Hyatt's wanting a charge card or something. All right, referee Vinny Lax. I will be getting some sleep shortly as well. Thank you so much for joining us today. See you soon, my bud. Yeah, Jarrett, no of course, it's Jarrett uh, QT Marshall, of course, because QT's got to be involved in everything, along with Parker Boudreaux and Sotnam's thing. What a team. And let's talk about the different styles here. Steve Regal has been out in WCW for a few months, but still has a lot of that European... That son, I'm style. telling you, if, if, if one of those two gets released from their company, yeah, well, it's, it's the other company needs style. to do Sotnam and Omas. That's why when Omas. Really, every time Regal gets like, I think that would legitimately and just pops Regal do, in like, mouth. draw some curiosity. You know, get a lot more oh, Sotnam and Will Ospreay would be great. And Wyndham moves in again and again. Like they really should be doing freak show matches of Sot. The tremendous wrestlers that have come from the United Kingdom. Uh, one that, that I had an opportunity to uh, to meet and spend some time with. Uh, the great Billy Robinson, a tremendous technician. You know Billy well. Yeah, Billy Robinson was one of the great oh. mat wrestlers. Just master of ring, man of a thousand holes. That's right. You remember tremendous and let Sotnam go to New Japan for an excursion. Well, well, years ago, so very excited. Yeah, a lot of very funny. Graduated from a school called Wigan in Wigan, England. Billy Robinson, Carl God, John Foley, a bunch of names. They just get the tallest young. wrestlers Let me ever. Ask you this. Who is the most one famous match. wrestler from the United Kingdom? Oh, sight superlats. I don't know about the most famous, but one of the most devastating. House of Torture, son. One of the Englishmen. Two. One of the most devastating men to come out of Wigan, England, was a man called Carl Gotch. The most famous wrestler from England, Henry VIII. So Henry he beat VIII. up Antoinette. That's now we're comparing almost, Billy almost. Robinson to Henry VIII? And the King of France wrestled at one time to settle a personal dispute. I'll tell you more about it next week. Right now, it's Steve Regal. That's a weird teaser. Let me tell you, let me give you this history lesson. About the King of France. Can you count? What, what if Nick Patrick's like, no, I can't. I have trouble with that. I get the two and it's just like, what's going on? 
to take this title away from Barry Windham right here in this contest. And at the rate things are going, he's got an excellent opportunity. Hey, he can't make any mistakes there. He's trying to knee Windham in the head, but Windham's too tall for that type of move. Regal's got to come up from underneath like those elbows he likes to bring up. And again, we talked about the different styles here. Oh, look at that. Perhaps Scratching them eyeballs. Recognizing that he's got to get a little bit rougher is getting a little bit... I would put Giant Baba on commentary for this Giants match we're booking in the chat. That would be... Or he did until he died. Probably doesn't talk anymore, if I were to guess. That's what he's going to have to contend with. I mean, that spur of the moment viciousness. It's called love of money in the United States of America. Oh, look at this inside. Oh. Steve Regal moves in for the kill. One, two. Oh, man. There's that one guy you can see him with the hat on who's like almost like sarcastically cheering for the match. Like, what is it? What is it? That's what excites me about a match like this. It can end in three seconds. It's only. Now, yeah, now he's just entertaining. Regal again. It's Sottenham doing the lights out transport with Rule. They have to keep them off for a long time. Are you out of the ring yet? Are you out from under the ring yet, Sottenham? No. Just, just my head. I'm trying to get my legs out now. Ooh. The referee trying to get Regal untangled here. What a dangerous situation. Yeah, that does not look good. You get your uh, ankle twisted up. And no pretty fire. blue mats. And the weight of your body Because they didn't buy any after Watts got fired. You need to save up for him. <laughs> Let's get back on it. He's stuck. Help me. And Regal appears to have injured his leg. Also, laying on an arena floor with no mat seems so gross. The kid's got fortitude. Referee counting it on Wyndham interferes. Well, interferes, he's helping him in. You can't beat a man outside. And no, he was trying to get him back in the ring. Oh, the implant DDT. Yeah, that's, that's Barry's finish at this time. There we go. Barry Windham retains his NWA championship. I don't even know if it was on the line. We'll just pretend. Great matchup featuring and hey, Larry Zabisco has his shirt on still. Good job, Larry. We're talking about the big return match tonight from last weekend. WCW Saturday Night. Cactus Jack upset Big Van Vader in more ways than one. Tonight, the return match taking place. And everybody that I've talked to said last week's match was one of the most brutal matches that they've seen. This is uh, this is over a year after Jim Hurd's fire. You can't wait for this, can you? You've been I, talking I about this all day. So is everybody. And I can't wait to see it. But it frightens hmm. me at the same time. Well, you know, let me make a confession. I can't wait to see this. Oh, yeah. Larry's not wearing pants. Me. All right, it's Tandy Laptop, have a good one. This Jack is the one that better be fright. You know, when Van Vader's out there and he's throwing around guardrails like pieces of paper, and those things are heavy, and he's screaming, no Those things pain, are heavy. And he is yelling at the top but of the like, eh, who's the not man. Not a big deal. Guardrails are like Jack nothing. Tons of kryptonite. We'll find out tonight who the man really is. 605 Eastern WCW, Saturday night. Don't miss it, and we'll see you next time. Emotional consideration paid for by the following. On my G.I. Joe, why did we run this ad at all during the show? G.I. Joe figures and vehicles sold separately. When the U.S. swim team needs eardrops for wax removal, there's no competition. URI, the official eardrops of the U.S. swim team. Have fun with some real headbangers, the Incredible Crash Dummies. They're guaranteed to break you up. Now available on NES, Game Boy, and Game Gear. All right. That does it for tonight for our lovely stream. Thank you all so much for joining me for the last two hours of 1993 WCW. I'm back uh, next Tuesday night at 9 uh, with WCW. Uh, it wasn't quite Saturday night then, but it was the Saturday night show from uh, April of 91. So we'll uh, go back then next week. I'm very tired. Um, so I'm gonna go to bed. Thank you again all all of you. You're all lovely 
Um, and as I always like to close this out with, um, let's make a promise, even if you don't make it to next, you may, even if you don't make it here next Tuesday, let's just get to next Tuesday. Seven days, that's all I'm asking. Just get there. I'll try my hardest. Thank you all so much. This is WCW Deep Cuts Live. My name's down there. I'll see you all next Tuesday at 9. Thank you.